Why, hello there everyone, I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei, and today is an update video. So, this may be uninteresting for the majority of you, so if you want to click out, feel free to do so. But anyhow though, let's update on my collection, and the plans for the future breeding projects, and whatnot. So, as you can see, the Peace Letheria Ornata are all okay, all the babies are doing well, which is surprising, which they're all in first and star now and one more molt until they're separable. So I'll update when that happens. And now the things you're seeing now are all my females, my Peace Letheria females that I'm breeding in the first two rows. So the first eight in the front are females that I have paired. So yeah, let's hope for the best and let's see if they produce or not. And now what you're seeing is uh, me trying to record my Peace Letheria Metallica females which I can't open the enclosure because if I do, then they'll run into their hides. But anyhow, these are my females, and yes, they're both gravid. And uh, I'm still waiting for an egg sack, but it seems like they don't want to drop, so I'm still waiting. And now I want to talk about my future breeding projects that I would really like to work on in the next year or two. And uh, yeah, this one here is my Peace Letheria Safuska Highland. And uh, these are really hard to come by now because of, you know, they're now protected and cannot be sold across state lines here in the United States. So yeah, finding a male for this female here is going to be a pain in the butt. But I would really like to work on more Peace Letheria species because, to me, they are pretty interesting despite them being some of the worst eaters in my experience. I still love them, especially the Ornato. So this is one of my future breeding projects I would really like to work on. And now I want to talk about the potential future breeders, which is my Harpactero Poker Piece. And yes, these guys are still small, but they're actually growing pretty fast. And I think in the next year and a half or two, they should be mature in terms of size to be breedable. So I would really like to grow them out and see if they'll be breedable within the next year and a half to two years. And if so, I'm going to breed them because I have so many that I held back. And uh, yeah, it will be great producing the species and also helping out the hobby since this species is high in demand most of the time. So let's talk about next year's breeding that I'm going to work on, which this is one of the first ones, my green bottle blue female. And yes, I have three females, which I'm waiting for two of them to be a little bit bigger in size. And then I have two males that I'm currently growing out. So yeah, so I have three females and two males, and those will all be future breeders for next year's tarantula breeding season, or late this year, depending on how fast they grow. And now I want to show you my Kilobrachy species electric blue, and yes, I do have a male, but he's not mature yet, but this mature female here will be his future wife once he grows out. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped up, and I also have a second female. But she's a little bit small. She needs about two more molts maybe until she's a breedable size. So working with this species is something that I'm happy to work on. And I have more breeding videos coming soon. So stay tuned. And that is all for the updates. So yeah, so feel free to like this video. Feel free to subscribe. And also leave a comment if you have any questions or anything. And with that, I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. And uh, stay lax. And... Laxo out from the Kumo Sensei.